Listen, I love the Pelicans, okay? Yeah. Pelicans allowed me an opportunity to do something that was incredibly awesome. Yes. I trotted out after a Lil Wayne rap song in New Orleans to the middle of the Pelicans court. LeBron James, seven feet to my left. Frank Vogel, old friend, doesn't even say hello to me. Jeez, oh, Frank. Excuse me. He's Hollywood, dude. He's won a championship. Yeah. He does before he won a championship. Right? <laughs> yeah. Now I couldn't even imagine. He's back here. And I get to intro this. Zion, I get to introduce second or something or mm -hmm. third or whatever, which was really cool. But I got to have a cool moment. And then, by the way, COVID came. There was no other events after that. So nope. it was like kind of a, a send off into the quarantine lockdown or whatever. And I love the Pelicans. People are nice down there. Okay, they're really cool. I feel like the social media team's great. Same social media team as the Saints social media team. They're great, by the way. Same ownership as the Saints. Yeah. Cool, they're doing well. They had to cut everybody because they ever paid everybody for like the last 10 years, but they're still going to be good because Sean Payton's there. I have no bit, uh, beefs or qualms with the New Orleans Pelicans. With that being said, can we get Zion on a different fucking team? Uh -huh. Okay, we got a play-in tournament that is causing all types of problems. Okay, all types of problems. LeBron loves it. He hates it. Steph loves it. He loves it. He loses these two games. He's going to hate it. It makes it a little bit of an excitement type thing. This is what baseball has, obviously. They have 7,000 games, and then there's a couple teams that yep. comes down to one game. What did we play all these games for? Nobody knows. I guess this is how we make all of our money because the local deals we do for TV, there's just a shit ton of games. The play-in game, though, always electric. March Madness, it's electric. Mm -hmm. I assume with the NBA last year, uh, with the bubble, it was electric. Yep. Now we got LeBron James and Steph Curry playing? Whew. Are you kidding me? Wednesday night? And then the loser of that will then play on Friday to beat the 9-10 seed game. And if the winner of that also goes in. So let's assume that the refs are not going to allow LeBron James to potentially not be in the playoffs. No, okay? correct. Now, Steph Curry, lovable guy, going to win the MVP, just has a scoring record and everything like that. He is absolutely awesome. They'll let him get Friday. But LeBron coming back, there's no – let's assume the Lakers are going to win on Wednesday. Okay, let's just assume that's the case. Uh -huh. LeBron's coming back, by the way. He oh, is. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's self handicapping, which is what uh, Ocho told us he was doing. You know, true, true. talking about how he's never going to be the same again. He's kind of, you know, setting his standard at a, a little bit lower so he doesn't disappoint himself, maybe. Which was a great speech by Ocho, and he yeah. might be doing that. But Zion Williamson is not in this fucking playing game. He's not in the playoffs. They weren't even – the Knicks are in the fucking thing on the East, okay? The Knicks are the four seed somehow. Yeah. Knicks fans are crawling out of the woodwork talking about the Knicks being in the force. Zion Williamson, a guy who has incredibly dope shoes now. Yep. A guy who's like 400 pounds and can dunk from the foul line. Yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. He just takes – he's not even in playing it. You know why? What's that? Pelican stink. Oh, yeah. Trade him. Look, the Nets, you know why the Nets are going to win this year? Or the Lakers are going to win? Because uh -huh. they tried to win. And they try, that's all they tried to do. By the way, I don't know how James Harden isn't the MVP, by the way. Okay, he leaves Houston. They stink. He's in strip clubs. They're mad. He goes to Brooklyn. They're going to win it all probably. Yeah, okay, man. so I don't know who. Steph Curry, I get it. All-time league scorer. He's probably going to get hot here in these playing games. He could be electric uh, during the playoffs. I'm very happy about that. But Harden seems to be the most valuable player. I, I, he goes to a team. They're going to win. So I, uh, I guess Blake Griffin could potentially be that as well. Look out. I don't right. know how the Pistons are doing since he's uh, left, but they probably stink. I think so. so maybe Blake like Griffin in that same vein there, uh, that whole thing. But Zion needs to go. Hey, we need to get him. We need to get him to another team. I mean, he needs to spread his wings and fly to a winner. He does. The Pelicans don't want to win. Pelicans, J.J. Redick was trying to pay him to get the fuck out of there. Oh, yeah. Hey, I won't go up to the Nets. And they're like, oh, we're going to trade you to Dallas. Fuck you. <laughs> That's exactly what happened yeah. down there. And I like the Pelicans. Hey, listen, if you're going to go all in and start playing, let's do it. Okay, let's. If the Pelican, I would like that for New Orleans. I'd like that for the Pelicans. You know, I'd like that for the Blender, the Smoothie King Center down Ooh. there. Yeah. Because that place, electrifying, just like uh, the Mercedes Benz Superdome down there. Yep. It is, their fans are awesome. But the ownership is not trying to be a winner. Terrible. Anthony Davis said, get me out of here. See ya. I'm gone. He, by the way, won a title <laughs> as soon as he left. That's right. Get Zion. Yeah, the fact he's not in a playing game. The fact is he's not in this playoffs, there's no way Adam Silver is like, yeah, this is good for basketball. No way, Ty Schmidt. Get his ass in a big seat or become one of the bigger teams. Well, that's not going to happen. I think we all know that. He needs to go to New York. I mean, you know, I don't think he's going to be going out to L.A. He loves playing in New York. I mean, that's what's tough. How many is times has he played in L.A.? What is he, 12 years old? Fucking get over it. Look at, this, look at the views, Zion. It's awesome. It's out there. That's, that's I mean, true, but, I mean, him in the Big Apple, you kidding me? He doesn't have to be LeBron's sidekick or a 
JD's sidekick. And Randy. Julius is it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice little oh, tag team. Boy. I mean, they might shoot 95% next year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of dunks. A lot of dunks. But that's the, I mean, the, it's kind of, it's uh, it's not similar with Rodgers, but like, yeah, I'm sure the guy does, he doesn't want to be the guy that trades away Zion. You know, like whoever's whoever's in charge there, it's like, hey, listen, we need to keep this guy as long as we can. I don't know if we can surround him with talent to win, but listen, I mean, we, we got to make as much money off this guy as we can because he's leaving. We got to hold this guy hostage. Pretty much. Essentially. Okay? We won a lottery, literally, and we drafted him. Okay? We win. He is now floating into basketball irrelevancy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is just how it goes. I don't care if he could average a triple-double every night if he wanted to. I don't care if he could shoot 90%. We won a lottery. We get a chance to make sure the rest of the world never sees him play basketball. I just, I just, hey, listen, Pelicans, I want you in the game. Yeah. Love hey, the Pel- Pacers, the Pacers, they were calling for this coach to get fired in this city yeah. three weeks ago. They're in the play-in game. Yeah. Uh-huh. They are in the play-in game tomorrow. Indiana Pacers are in a playing game tomorrow. Their coach has been fired two to three times in the last two, three weeks. Yeah. And they're in a playing game. Zion's sitting at home. How is that happening? I don't know. I assume the NBA doesn't like it. And Pelicans, this is not against you. You get in the game. I'm not saying he yeah, has yeah. to leave. Start recruiting. But it seems like that's not the way this is going because is it the same GM that lost AD? I mean, I couldn't tell you, but shit, you know, I mean, the franchise has shown, hey, listen, they can't, they can't keep their, their acquired talent there. You know why? Probably because people like me are like, get them the fuck out of there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it could be. They, and listen, Zion said he loves playing in New Orleans. And by the way. How couldn't you? You would love playing yeah. in New Orleans. Great fans, great building, you know, Pelicans. Hell of a city. Hell of a city. Pelicans, interesting. You know, when they made that decision, I think we're all pretty intrigued by it, mm-hmm. you know. Okay, yeah, a lot of pelicans on it. Oh, it's wetland. Okay, a lot of fish. Okay. Okay. Could have made it something with like Mardi Gras. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something with like Bourbon Street. Something really cool. Something, you know, maybe a little bit of Yaz in there, maybe. You know what I mean? Something like that. Something, you know, that is. But the pelicans are fucking prevalent down there. When you go down to New Orleans, you're like, you know what? Pelicans fucking everywhere around here. So I respect the fighting pelicans out there. The name's not bad, but they're not bringing players in. Get them out of there. Get them right. out of town. Well, and players don't want to go there, too, because of that J.J. Reddick thing. They know that they could get fucked over if they ever go down there and then want to leave.